Hey everybody, this is Kan, and we are on the SW Clan server. I am getting my wooden materials going for the outside of this. There we go. I want to go. So, uh, I have video from the... Oh, nice big tree from the, uh, the shindig yesterday, so that was very fun. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a couple days and kind of go through it. Um, I didn't record this, but I spent uh, earlier today, I spent about an hour or so uh, cleaning up all my chests from all my different places and getting them all kind of organized into one area. And I noticed I had an excess of stone uh, tools and just tools in general. And my OCD started to freak out about them, so I'm using them up. So all of these materials I am going to basically go through and... Well, I have to kill two birds with one stone. I need as much of the dark wood as I can get because I'm going to be doing a couple of dark wood pillars coming up next to this. I kind of have this idea. Okay, so I'm going to have... I guess you guys haven't seen that yet. Why don't we go take a small visit to the top of this. I know you've seen me. You are just going to piss me off, aren't you? Okay. So long as he doesn't knock me off here, I'm okay. Oh, did I... Yeah, we can get with that. Bink, bink, bink. So... This is the roof so far. That is actually going to be disassembled. I don't like it. Uh, it's a little too small for what I'm going for. Uh, this is going to be the new dome for the top of this building. So it's actually going to arch up about, uh, I'm thinking about 25 uh, blocks, and then come back down. So it's a 25 by 25 hemi uh, hollow hemisphere, essentially. And the inside, I'm going to decorate it and give it like a uh, mosaic-style painting. But you can see I've done... I have raised mini-map installed, so you can get kind of a sense of what's going on. I have this building down here complete. I'm going to do a nether rack roof over here and then what I'm gonna do yeah that one I need to work on uh, I'll collect materials for that and work on it in uh, another video but you'll notice down there you'll see this circle this is actually gonna get moved forward some it's gonna be more like this one over here as I ignore the zombie I just want love and your brains Give me your brains. Anyways, it's going to move, be moved up, sort of like this one here. And what I'm thinking about doing... And then I'll put another one over here. Is actually these are going to support a uh, another building that's going to come on. Not quite attached to this building... But uh, it, there's going to be another building over this way and another building over that way coming off of this. So it's going to be pretty epic, this area, when I finish it. But I'm not going to do them in sandstone. I'm already wiping out an entire desert just working on that. There'll probably be another thing whatsoever. Um, I just got a message. So... I had a blast yesterday with the master classes for Race for the Wool. Um, tons of fun. 
A uh, little bit of miscommunications here and there. Uh, there's, like, at one point the canon class, the class I was in, um, they... I don't know quite what happened with the canon class, but it was like I was in the orange class, but when we TP'd, we TP'd into the blue class, but weren't, but no one exactly knew it, so we had no idea what was going on, and the, the poor teachers for our class was wondering where the class was, and the students for our class was wondering where the, uh, the teachers were. So it was utter chaos. Just utter chaos. It calmed down. It got a little less ranty. Um, but whatever. So, once once we figured out everything, the, the class went fairly smoothie. Smoothie? I'd like a smoothie. Uh, smoothly. Um, the teacher, I think, was fairly annoyed by that point, so he could have been just slightly better, but it was still a, a fantastic class. Um, so later, I was, when I was doing my, because we had a bunch of casual games, uh, it got remarked that one of my cannon designs was fairly, uh, unconventional <laughs> for a cannon design and a cannon location. But it was meant to screw up and slow down the opponents. Um, you know, it's not going to stop them. But if I could create a point in which they are having to deal with a a hole that is essential. Whoop. Cancel. That essentially slows them down. Then that's a good thing. Uh... So there's, I'm talking with people about maybe uh, starting a Race for the Wool team. Uh, not related to SW Clan, but I would still like to set up an SW Clan uh, uh, Race for the Wool team. Because I think that would be pretty cool. I just have to find members that would be not only willing to do it, but also uh, uh, maybe bring themselves out a little bit more to do it. So, we'll see. In fact, I just got a Skype message asking about that, so I will talk to this guy here in a moment after I'm done recording this. So anyways, this is the house. It is going well. I showed some people last night it and they, they were one guy's like, "I'm build I thought I was building a massive build with my library." That was uh Jake Hoyled. I felt really bad for him cuz he was like, "Oh my god, I'm going to have to step up now." And it's like, "You don't have to do that." I looked at his library later. I really really liked it. Uh I think he can he, if he wants to expand it out, uh, which I don't think he should. I don't think he should expand it out. I think that library in particular looks very good the way it's set up. But uh, I think he should um, do another build that expands upon the idea. Maybe do something completely different. But take that, that basic idea of... Um, Shoot, what was I saying? Oh, the of a large building and just increase it now. One of the things they really liked is they liked the fact that I play with the shadows. Which is one of the things I wanted to do in this building is most of the most of the time when you think of lighting, you think of lighting to keep uh, evil spawns out, like uh, spiders and creepers and that sort of thing. And that's the atypical stuff. I want to use lighting to a an effect where I'm highlighting things and maybe showing things off a little differently like for example we have this really cool light effect and I don't want to get rid of that but I don't want anything spawning on the stairs 
So if I put it just underneath the stairs, then it won't block. I won't lose as much of that shadow as I had before. And yeah, I really like it. I like the fact that the roof is really, really bright compared to the walls. Because you get all sorts of neat little colors in there, too. Go out. Get. Close that up. So, Race for the Wool, a lot of fun. Um, be sure there, there's going to be videos set up here soon. I'm kind of going through them. Uh, my first set of videos... Uh, I have to completely destroy the uh, the audio track and re and dub over the audio or the uh, video track with new audio because at the time I was over uh, mumble and Bandicam didn't record the mumble so that kind of sucks so you miss all of that talk. However, I did catch later on uh, when I was recording I did get more. Uh, stuff going. So hopefully that'll all go up so you can actually get a good sense of that, the the race for the wool stuff. Uh, I got my ass handed to me, particularly when I got uh, went up against people that actually had more skill than I. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, late night I started getting a little bit cranky and yeah, I kind of feel bad about that, but that's one of the flaws to my personality. If I get tired, I get cranky, and yeah. So, I won't show that video, but I will show other videos, so be sure to uh, look for that stuff. It's coming in here in the future. Uh, I also recorded some of the, uh, the Masterclass stuff, so you'll see that video here soon as well. And let's uh, let's put this up. Anyways, this is kind of a shorter video, but I'm trying to play around with video lengths and doing. Ow! Look, you. I don't have to take that. Ow! I'm, I love how they can shoot you while facing away. Jeb, you need to fix that. That's not fair. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to play around with the shorter videos within the 10 to 15 minute mark rather than what I normally do, which is the uh, much, much longer mark. <laughs> I think I've been doing normally videos that are about half an hour to an hour in length, and I'm going to try to cut down on those as much as possible. Uh, the race for the wool stuff, I'm going to keep to about 20, 20 minutes per. But I don't want to flood you guys with, like, episode upon episode of just one match. So, I'm not really too certain how I'm going to handle that, but uh, we'll figure that out. Uh, the master classes, I might just stitch those together and put them up as is. Because they really are kind of cool to see. So, anyways, um, this has been Can, and I will talk to you guys later.